Well, Erie County's financial watchdog is working to find the source of potential fraud inside the county clerk's office. We first told you about an audit the controller did last month showing someone was stealing thousands of dollars in taxpayer money. Well, now the controller telling 7 News reporter Krista Morand he may have a lead. Erie County Controller Kevin Hardwick says about $114,000 in taxpayer money is missing from the clerk's office. What upsets me, and I know it upsets a lot of other people, is that someone who's been taking money uh, over $100,000 from the county, uh, and probably a lot more, um, is, uh, is still on the county payroll collecting a paycheck. This new nine page analysis of the clerk's office account and deposit activity shows discrepancies and signs of tampering. The audit also shows reports had been manipulated. Hardwick says that there is mounting evidence of this happening from January of 2022 to June of this year. Part of that evidence points to deposit tickets filled out by the individual cashiers. They all fill out their own deposit tickets. So when it, when the money goes to the bank at night, there's not just one deposit ticket, there's a bunch of them. And some of them, it's obvious they've been altered. It was not their handwriting that we'd noticed on previous deposit tickets. Someone had gone in there, probably taken some cash and, and filled out a different deposit ticket. Hardwick says nothing has been missing since June 12th. He says the evidence has been turned into the Erie County Sheriff's and District Attorney's Office. We're waiting to see on those smoking guns whose fingerprints the, uh, the sheriff Fines. I did reach out to the county clerk's office about this. Clerk Mickey Kern says he has concerns about Hardwick disclosing information about this investigation and says he has confidence in law enforcement to conduct a thorough investigation. Meantime, Hardwick says while they're continuing to work with the clerk's office, this audit also allows them to remedy past practices so that this never happens again. In downtown Buffalo, Krista Moran, 7 News.